said, denounce the name of the Most High. You know, what are you gonna do? There's stories in the, uh, uh, um, let's get that. Get that in the book of Maccabees, the Maccabees, the old guy. The old guy was, no, the, uh, yeah, the old guy was the, the poor mother with the um, sons, okay? Nah, I want him to get this, it's, it's, it's like right back to that. It's uh, second measure. Uh, this is 2nd Maccabees 7 and 29. Fear not, uh, 28. I beseech thee, my son, look upon the heaven and the earth and all that there, uh, and all that is therein, and consider that the Most High made them, of th uh, made them of things that were not, and so was mankind made likewise. Fear not this tormentor, but being worthy of thy brethren, take thy death that I may receive thee again in mercy with thy brother. Yeah, this is a mother. Um, all the mother had to do was say, okay, I eat the pork for my sons, or I do this for my sons, or she could do what would have did anything. But no, she had perfect love in the most high, man. You ain't gonna find no woman, no, no woman on this planet Earth that'll do anything like that, man. The son could be a fucking murderer, man, and they'll be pleading, pleading their case, man. Or, or just as simple as Section 8 and food stamps, they, they throw the niggas out, man. Okay? Or, or, or she got another man, she'll turn her back on, on her children. Okay? So this woman, no matter life or death, man, and she was telling them, she was uh, uh, girding them up. You know? Go ahead. While she was yet speaking these words, the young man said, Whom wait ye for? I will not obey the king's commandment, but I will obey the commandment of the law that was given unto our fathers by Moses. And this is death. These people are facing death. Us, in, this, in these times, we're not even facing anything close to that. That time will come, and it's going to be way worse than the time they were going through according to the scriptures. But, nonetheless, that we're not even facing these type of things. So what, what does that say about us? You know what I'm saying? When we fall short of the glory of some bullshit, that should be totally unacceptable. Because these people was like, they about to get, they know they about to get tortured to death. And all they had to do was denounce the name of the Most High and eat that swine, man. That's all they had to do. That easy. You know? Go ahead. Uh, I'm just saying, and it's after he didn't see six of his other brothers die, you know? Yep. And all of them went out, and all of them went out with a nice little quote. Yep. You know, like they'll say, he'll be like, you gonna, you gonna denounce it? He'll be like, basically, man, fuck you, you know, horse you rode in on, the most highs, the most highs yeah. and shit. He gonna kill all y'all, and, and he killed them. You know what I'm saying? Go ahead. Come on. Uh, Second Maccabees 7 and 31. And thou that has been uh, the author of all mischief against the Hebrews shall not escape the hands of the most high. For we suffer because of our... Uh, for we suffer because of our sins. And though the living power be we suffer, hey, we suffer because of our sins. Nobody is held guiltless. So anything that happened to us in, in this world, anything is because of what you've been doing. Because you, you're you vulnerable. The Most High controls everything on this planet Earth. So he can have it to the point that we don't, we don't receive no type of punishment or misfortune. Okay, for one, we're under these curses. That shows you that we ain't gonna be ducking on misfortune, but for two, it's through sin, man. You know, the more you are closer to the Most High, the more okay, Satan gonna be fucking with you more, but he ain't gonna have you out there like that, man. You know what I'm saying? The Most High let Satan do a little bit more to you, because it said let you not suffer as a sinner. It's, it's suffering different, you know? Suffering is different, the repercussions, basically. Okay? Go ahead. And though, and, and though the living power be angry with us a little while for our chastening and correction, yet shall he be at one again with his servants. Mm -hmm. But thou, O godless man, and of all other most wicked, be not lifted up without a cause, nor puff it up with uncertain hope, lifting up thy hand against the servants of the Most High. Yeah, so don't think you doing something because you, you getting at us, because at the end of the day, our faith, this ain't nothing. You know what I'm saying? That's the perfect love in the most high was you you not even your life ain't even 
it's, it's, it's an honor to die. You know what I'm saying? Like, like they said in 300, it's an honor to die by your side. You know, like it's an honor to die in the truth as a man of the Lord. You know, you just picture, you're going to get beamed up or your spirit going to transcend into the third heaven. And you're going to see that movie, you going out like a punk, you know, like, you know, like you, you uh, uh, releasing your bowels on yourself. You know, uh, this is free on Sundays. But you you releasing your bowels, you peeing, you crying, like Dave Chappelle said, you know, call the police on his last phone call, and, and uh, on your right before you die, you say, oh, I just, I think I just shit it myself. Oh, like and you bitching on the on um, phone call. You don't want to go out like that. You want to go out like a man, okay? So, so when Satan or uh, uh, Satan, which is so-called white man, in the Most High, in, in the Most High's prophecies, come to pass, time to take his trouble. You still gotta. You gotta be uh, girded up and have that perfect love. Do that mean you can just turn that shit on? No, you gotta exercise that. You gotta, you gotta dig and, and um, be truthful to yourself. That's really the main way. You can't sit here and say, yeah, I'm gonna have that perfect love. I remember somebody was telling me that, and I'll talk, it was a woman too. They said, oh, I said, I'll tell them about martial law. Oh, martial law, come to my door. I'm, this is going down. I'm going to be doing this. I'm going to be doing that. I'm like, you sure? I'm like, yeah, I know I'm low. I'm below the Lord. And fucking IRS came knocked on the door, called me in, man. Some people with suits at my door and screaming out. <laughs> I'm like, man, you're full of it, man. You like the rat. Yeah, like, you, you got to be honest with yourself. It ain't nothing to say to them, like, damn, if they come. I had a gun pull on me before, and I, I felt fear. So, I'm going to be honest with myself. I ain't going to say, man, nigga, pull a gun on me, whatever. Fuck me. Like, that shit's scary, nigga. Like, shit, I could die right now. So, what do I have to, what, what I have to be at mentally? I have to be like, fuck my life. You know what I'm saying? As long as I'm doing something for the Lord. Okay? So, that whole situation, I can reenact that in my mind a million times. And I know what it felt like. And I have to walk myself up to that position of not being afraid of that. You know? And, and basically, you gotta have faith. You gotta know that what you're doing is for is for a real reason, you know. And you'll never know until you walk across that bridge, or you don't admit the truth about yourself, you know. Like it, it, if you can't admit the truth to yourself, then you know. Cause a lot of people like to make themselves bigger than what they are, and say, "Oh shit, if I was in this position, I was in that." You, if you had that perfect love in the Most High, you wouldn't be scared of nothing. Like a nigga could hop out from anywhere, a dog alley, boom. What's up? You know, like, because the most high got me. You know what I'm saying? You in La La Land, basically. You in a whole different world. You're aware of the dangers. You know what I'm saying? You done looked at the up and down. You see what, which hand he walk around with. You know what I'm saying? Because you're not even worried about the, uh, uh, you're, not, you're not in fear. You're aware of the dangers, you know? Just like that, I always go back to that. We all been talking about the movie After Earth, you know? It says fear is imagination, but danger is definitely real. Like, we ain't scared of the movie. But we're aware that they'll shoot you for doing some dumb shit. You know, so that's a danger, that's a reality. But I ain't gonna sit here and, and they, they stop with the most highest pushing. Especially if I got the right to do this. You know what I'm saying? Unless, if, unless I'm aware of the dangers that can happen and, and see what type of uh, police officer I'm dealing with. You see what I'm saying? Go ahead. You still want to see my story? Uh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay, good. No, I'm on a couple of something. Yeah, it's coming yeah. up. <laughs> hey man, cause I read a little bit further. All right, uh, Second Maccabees seven and thirty-five. For thou hast not yet escaped the judgment of the Almighty Power, who seeth all things. Yeah, just because you getting, just because Esau getting off now, don't mean he escaped the judgment of the Most High. But they think so. That's what it says in Ecclesiastes. Because uh, judgment is not executed speedily, therefore it's fully set in the heart of men to the wicked men to do evil, man. Basically, the most high ain't, ain't laying that hammer down. I tell, I tell these brothers that, man. Like, you get admonished, I admonish, and then you go do what you want to do. I'm let, let the most high deal with you. You know what I'm saying? Because, because ain't nothing happening or in your mind, this shit will work. You know? The most high come in. Bam! Get your ass down. You know what I'm saying? You go, Damn. You get, you get all spiritual and shit, you know? <laughs> but that, you got to you gotta stay like that. You know what I'm saying? And I'm speaking that from experience. I'll be like, you know, brothers, like, man, I, like, Dealing with my woman, you know, when I first came in true, they brought like, you know, elders, don't be, don't be teaching your woman, man, don't be doing this, don't be, I'm like, you know, my woman seems like she alright though, you know, like, she, maybe she like wanted that, the 
one of the few. This shit gonna do some more wicked shit. And I be like, man, you know, that's my L. You know what I'm saying? I did it and I was hard headed. I wasn't being wicked, but I didn't listen to the admonishment, you know what I'm saying? And, and, and uh, play it the right way. So now I'm dealing with this hell, man. I created my own situation. All situations you go through in some type of way you created it. You know, if, if you fucking, if you get into a wreck or something, just look and find where you ignored the most high. You know, it was a point in time about that thing you ignored the most high. Like, you go out and be like, man, I should stay in, man. I should sit, sit my ass down. Fuck it, I'm about to, I'm about to head out. I'm going to be all right. So, yeah, yeah, if some shit happened, then you be like, man, I knew I should sit my ass down. You know what I'm saying? Even when I was in the world and I, I was in handcuffs, like, man, something told me to just fucking chill at home, man. Not, it's in the most high, basically, that's the most high talking to you. But if you ain't clean in the spirit, that that, that voice is going to be distant sometimes. You know? I'm like, I, I kind of knew to chill, but I really didn't feel like chilling. But if you deep in the most high, most high have you to the point you don't even want to go nowhere. Like, full, wholeheartedly, man. You know? Uh, this is that's some more of that, right? Just a little bit, two more verses. Okay. It says, For our brethren who now have suffered a short pain are dead under the most high covenant of everlasting life. But thou, through the judgment of the most high, shalt receive just punishment for thy pride. Yeah, they don't believe because what they Esau and these heathens and these two thirds don't believe is life after death. Okay? They don't believe in the kingdom of heaven. They doing all this shit and they laughing and they, and they partying, but when, they, when it's time to reap the rewards of the kingdom of heaven, then they gonna be like, oh, what about me? Well, I'm like, fuck you, man. And he gonna be like, fuck you in a major way because he's the most high, he's the most high, he's the God of everything. He's the God of fucking you up too. And the, the main torment is watching us fall out, you know, till we fall out. And the scriptures say that the, uh, the, the, uh, the two thirds of our people shall be ashamed when they see us in, in the um, kingdom of heaven, because uh, the two thirds of our people gonna inherit the kingdom, but you gotta think about it. We out here doing the work, and when they get in their right mind, they will, you know, they're gonna be in their right mind. They're gonna love the Lord, and they're gonna be looking at themselves back in that time, fucking with us, and be like, you know, damn, they won't cry yourself to sleep every fucking night because you you was making fun of your people, man. You know what I'm saying? Be like, man, that's fucking some shameful shit, man. It's like getting caught stealing, man. You know the scriptures say that when, it, when it, like like when a thief is found, man. You know what I'm saying? That's how it is. That's how it's gonna feel about mocking and scoffing at the uh, 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 prophets and apostles, man. Okay. Uh, yeah. What you got? Uh, everlasting shame. Mm -hmm. okay. you, you know that other one there when it says on uh, like a man that is found found stealing, a man that find. You go, you go get it. He, if he can't find it, then it's okay. Because it's not a big deal. Uh, Daniel 12 and 2, and many of them that sleep in the dust of the earth shall awake, some to everlasting life, and some to shame and everlasting contempt. Yeah, because that's when we come back, because the, the dead in, the, the dead in your house shall, shall rise first. Abba Bivens, you know what I'm saying, uh, Masha, okay, uh, um, my lawyer, okay, those are the people that can rise first, you know, amongst many other prophets that, that came throughout their time. In the street, they're gonna rise first in your hour shot. And and the other one, Yaquab and some to everlasting shame, everlasting contempt. But them they don't know everlasting righteousness, man. Because they did what they did. You could just you could just imagine if you were to die now and you looking at your life in a movie and you sitting next to your hour shot, you know what I'm saying? It's like it's like you think you're that nigga, right? Every day, you know, laughing, rolling, you know. <laughs> I hope the legs stay in there. I hope her hands give out. Give up. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I hope all Damn. of them right at the same time. Like, Damn, she made. It. <laughs> all right, Second Maccabees seven and thirty-seven. But I, as my brethren, offer up my body and life for the laws of our fathers. That's perfect love. Off up your life and your body for the laws of your fathers. That's making your body a living sacrifice, literally, man. Okay? The scriptures tell us to do it, 
but like we may get shot, we may go to jail, we may get fired, uh, we may get in a fight. And it's discouraged niggas, man. You may have to go out in a, and have to deal with a brutal winner. You know, and, and that discouraged brother. There should be nothing in this world to discourage you from serving the Lord because you have perfect love. You just in it to win it, man. Okay? Your your mind is, is tunnel vision. You don't see the side because guess what? If you if you look to your left or your right, man, that's gonna discourage you and make you like, oh shit, because it's fire and it's water on one side, man. It's like you walking on a tightrope, one side is fire and one side is water. And if you keep focus on that on that end, you can make it, but you go to look it down and like, oh shit, you know? You gotta have that tunnel vision, man. Go ahead. Beseeching the most high that he will speedily be merciful unto our nation, and that thou by torments and plagues mayest confess that he alone is the most high. And that in me and my brother, uh, my brethren, the wrath of the all, uh, of the Almighty, which is justly brought upon all our nation, may cease. That's all. That's all I want. That's that's an example of perfect love. He he basically died, man. Okay. One of them got thrown in a, in a frying pan. One of them got scalped. They got skin. Okay. All of them got thrown in a cauldron. You know what I'm saying? But they tortured them. In the midst of that, man, and it was basically hitting them with hot lines every time, man. You know, you see your brother get scalped, and he's like, "You next? You won't go through what he went through?" And then he's like, "Man, fuck you, man." You know? Well, you finally get it, get it, get it. Uh, 